Hello? It, what's going on here? Uh, we're working now? Nice. Now I can finally show you guys what we're doing today. All right, what's up guys? My name is JacquesRGQ and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a nice versatile glitch effect. Now you're gonna be able to apply these to video files, text files, some images you wanna have up on screen. It's pretty great. So let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's hop into Premiere and I'll show you guys what we're getting into today. All right, so now I've already got some Apex footage here in the timeline to work with. To begin, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hold down your Alt key, left click your video file and drag it to make a copy on top of the original one. And we're basically gonna be editing this top one for the most part. Next, you're gonna to go to effects in the top right. We're gonna be looking for VR chromatic aberrations, chromatic VR chromatic VR chromatic aberrations. Dude, I hate saying this. Okay, we're also gonna be looking for one more thing, which is gonna be called VR digital glitch. Go ahead and drag both of those on top of your duplicated video. Now we can already see we have a lot of like glitching going on in the preview window, but we're gonna go ahead and animate this to where it looks a little bit different. So the first effect we're gonna be working with is this chromatic aberrations. Uh, basically, we're gonna set it to where it's kind of flashing different colors while the glitch is going on. So to do this, you're gonna be animating the aberration red, green, and blue. So go ahead and hit the stopwatch on all of these. Grab your playhead, move it forward about one frame. Then grab the red aberration, drag it all the way to 100, grab the green all the way to 100, and the blue all the way to 100. Then go over one more frame here and then reset these back to their original values with the reset key. And basically these are like little brackets or little spurts of color that we're gonna be throwing in here. Now I like to, do, to just throw these out randomly because it's a glitch effect. There's nothing that's like set in stone of what's happening. So just grab it, copy it. You can hold down your alt key and literally just drag it anywhere. Or like grab this green one, move it forward a little bit, make another copy. Grab the blue one, move it forward between these, make another one right here. Grab these again, kind of move it here and literally just disperse these out as randomly as you can. Cause like I said, it's a glitch man. Like none of this is supposed to be set in stone at all. And then essentially what this will do is you can see these little like color pumping effects that are going on in our preview window. Now, although this has added some like color effects to our video, it's not really messing with these like the little glitches that are actually going on. And now this is what we're gonna mess with in the digital glitch. So let's go ahead, hit this arrow next to chromatic aberrations, close that up and then we can work with our real digital or real glitch, the digital glitch. Now, like I said, this glitch thing is really random. So this is kind of where you can just change yours as much as you want. So to start messing with our digital glitch, we're gonna animate the master amplitude. We're gonna change this value to, uh, let's say about 40, so it's not too glitchy. Basically, the more you increase this value, the more glitchy it'll look. So maybe you want a little more glitch. If so, set it higher than 40, but I'm gonna start mine at, uh, let's say 25. Basically, this will have the glitches changing throughout the entire uh, duration of this effect. Now we're gonna open our distortion tab. We're gonna go down and change color distortion. Let's say we're gonna start at 50, move our keyframe or our play it forward a little bit and then change our keyframe to mm, A7 looks fine. Then we're gonna go to color evolution here. We're gonna have it at, let's say 14. That sounds like a nice, good random value. Move forward a bit more. And we're gonna change this to 45. Next, we're gonna go down to the scale X, Y, and Z. You don't have to animate these, so, but I like to just throw some random ones and essentially it changes where the glitch is going on in the effect. We'll go ahead and throw these some random values because it'll look decent either way. Go ahead and set this one a little bit lower just to make it different. And for random seed, it doesn't matter which one we like to do. So I'm just gonna throw in 49 here and see what happens. I think that looks fine here. Also, one more value that I forgot you have to animate. Uh, come back up to distortion evolution here, right above color evolution. Currently, we can have it set at like, eh, started at three move it forward and essentially what this effect will do is what gives it that like moving look with your glitch so now that we've changed it a bit we can see that as we're going throughout here the glitch is actually moving in a sense instead of just staying there like with that like not like that static glitch i guess you could say or the glitch that's not really moving now you can tidy this up by basically moving all your keyframes to the very beginning of the effect it doesn't really matter all right, and here you go. This is our glitch effect. You can also have it with text. You can have it with pictures. Like I said, it looks great either way, but hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if there's some other effect you want me to cover in a future video. And also make sure to go check out my main channel where I put a lot of these effects into use. And until next time, peace. That's why you have one kill for video. My name is Tosuka Buki. I watch anime. <laughs> 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 that was